Hello everyone, I'm Kelsey. Welcome back to another very passionate vlog. We have some things to do today, okay? Um, yeah. <laughs> we have orders to do. We have some to pack. We have some to make. We have some items to list. A while ago, I bought two skeins of Juicy Couture Velvet Yarn that I found at Joann's and it was in the clearance section. For some reason, I don't think that Joann's sells the Juicy Couture yarn anymore. I was trying to find it online and they didn't have any except for they, they did have the colors that had the sparkles in them, but they didn't have the regular colors. So like, I don't know, maybe it was just like a one-time collab and they don't do it anymore. And that's why they were on sale. But last night I was just, I was watching TV. So I decided to use up those two skeins. I made these three, they are finished. And then what else? I have these three. I am, all I need to do is weave in these ends and those will be finished. So we'll have six to list and then, oh wait, this is, this is four. Nice, okay. And then um, I had one, one left. Hold on. Sorry. There was like one left, but I got around the ponytail and this is definitely not enough to make scrunchies. So I'll do the ruffles with a different color and then I'll do an outline with the, I think it's white. The color name was called Angel, I think. So it's, it's kind of a, it's white, but it's not as bright as the Bernat Velvet White, it's kind of like, it's just much softer. Let me, let, let me. This is the Bernat Velvet White. It's very white. And then this is the Juicy Couture color. It's, it's like ever so slightly softer. I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure if you can tell on the camera. So I'm gonna start the day by finishing up these scrunchies and finishing up this scrappy scrunchie and then after I finish them, I'm gonna take pictures of it and list them for sale on my website. And then they will go in the scrunchie basket, which is like pretty much empty. I got up really early today. Don't laugh at me. I got up at eight o'clock because my dog was making a ruckus. The last two days, we've just been taking care of Terry because he went and had a dental procedure and they took out, they took out some teeth, so he has not been in a good mood. Done. 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 And done. Wow, that's nice. Wow, look at that. Okay, so now, what color shall we pair this with? Yeah. I mean, it's white. It, it will go with anything, but I like this. I like this. Ta-da, that's cute. Looks like um, ice. Okay, that worked out really good. I ended up with two, four, six, eight scrunchies. So we can pair up these six as just the colors. And then I can put these two together as a mystery scrunchie pair. So now I'm gonna take quick pictures of two of these to put them for sale. After that, uh, we're gonna pack some orders. Fantastic. Right. Okay. So as far as packing orders go, I think we have four that we can pack. I finished this custom order River Dahlia top yesterday. It's a medium and it's orange. And then we sold two pairs of scrunchies and another top, so. Let's pack. Okay, first we have the orange River Dahlia top for Betsy.
extra large pink peekaboo top for Hannah. got a blue scrunchie and a pink scrunchie for Patricia. And then we've got two gray scrunchies for Sedone. Sedani? Sydney? I, <laughs> I don't know. see videos on TikTok and stuff of small businesses just like printing out a bunch of shipping labels at once you know they're always like oh I got a crazy amount of sales and then like they show their printer and it's just running and running and running I have no idea how to do that every time I every time I do these I print them one by one I have no idea how they're doing that I would love to know Okay, that's done. We have three orders left. All of them are custom orders. One of them is a scarf. One of them is a ruffle top. And then the last one is a bandana. What shall we work on today? I think that first we'll work on the scarf because I believe I can finish like the whole thing today, hopefully. Before we do that, I have a package. So I need to go outside and get it. You wanna join me? I am wearing slippers outside. This is what was in my box. I have quite a bit of yarn here, yes. This is all Patton's Grace Yarn from Yarnspirations. They sent it to me for a project that I'm going to be working on, so that's exciting. Although, not today. I wanna get started on our scarf. So, this scarf order was placed by, I'm assuming someone that crochets themselves. They specifically asked me to use up some scrap yarn. So, that is going to be great and helpful. I don't know if I've shown you guys my scrap yarn. You guys have obviously seen my small scraps bag that I keep on my desk and this is where I put all of my like short yarn cuttings anything that's too small to like crochet with but I also have a much bigger scrap bag that is full of yarn scraps that I mean some of it is honestly like a full half skein and others are just pieces of yarn that I just had left over after the end of a project and I'm like this is not enough to make another thing but it's not small enough to like throw away so yeah I may or may not have a, a trash bag full of yarn scraps so I guess we're gonna dive into that today okay here's my scrap bag <laughs> It's full of yarn. It's a full trash bag of yarn. Uh, I originally started this because I was uh, gonna make a scrap blanket. Okay, and he oh, here it is. Here it is, yep. Okay, hold on. Yeah, so here's my, <laughs> here's my progress on my scrap blanket that I was making. I had planned on like saving all of my cool tone scraps and my warm tone scraps and like making them into a blanket. So this is obviously my cool tones and uh, this is how far I got. This is at least three years old. I can't believe I ever thought I was going to actually make a blanket. Uh, I don't make blankets. Blankets are too big, they take too long, and I just, I'm not a fan. I, I've never liked making blankets. So I don't know why I thought I would make it. I don't know. Maybe I should take this and like make it into the front of a sweater or something. I'm not sure, but three years of progress. <laughs> anyway, there's like a bunch of stuff in this bag. 
some of it is big like this is this is quite a bit of yarn honestly you know um i don't know why it's in here i just i just put it in there some of it is smaller just like i have this ball a lot of it's tangled up we've got little pieces like like this we've got bigger pieces i have like half made stuff where i just ran out of the yarn so i was like nah i'll put that in the scrap bag so yeah i guess um i will will be going through this i'm gonna find yarns that i think go together make sure they're like the same weight and stuff and then we'll we'll make it into a scarf i think what we will do is we will double strand worsted weight yarn because my, I mean, most of my yarn is worse to weight. And we'll do a double strand so that the color mixing looks better. And also because it'll be finished faster. So I want to start with this. I'll just unwind this. And then what size should we use? We have 6.58 or 9. Maybe an 8. Maybe an 8. I'm gonna pair up these two because these are the first two that I pulled out. So it's we got a green and we got this, which is like a multicolor bluish purple thing. What stitch pattern are we gonna do? I think I'll do a V-stitch because I really enjoyed making those two V-stitch scarves that I made during Christmas time. That's a good width. Yeah. Honestly, I don't really want to go through my bag and like pull out all the things that I think are going to go into this scarf. I think that I'm going to start crocheting and then uh, whenever it works out, it's it'll work out. Whenever I run out of one color, I'll just go into the bag and find the next color and tie it on. So I'll just kind of like add as I go, if that makes sense. I ran out of green. <laughs> so next color, let's, let's dye. How much of this do we have? Oh, and it's tied to a gray. Sure. I've run out of the second color we tied on, so I found this. I'm gonna try to unravel it and then use that. Use that. I am like trying to dig through this trash bag to find scraps. It, we're getting, you know, it's going good. But I think that it would be easier to just dump the bag on the ground. Okay, what is that? Now that I'm like really looking through it, a lot of this is like just big, big pieces of yarn. What's this? Okay. This is not, this is not yarn. This, okay. I am wanting to do shorter pieces so that the color changes are more often throughout the scarf. Maybe I can use these and like cut them in half. I think this was a failed blanket again. Yeah. Why was I doing that? Well, interesting so far. While I'm making this, I'm watching a Julian Solomita video because he's been doing a lot of IRL streams lately and they're pretty interesting. I'm watching this where he goes and eats at this sushi restaurant and boy, it is making me so hungry. I asked my mom to go to lunch with me, but she was busy, so my dreams of having Thai food today are crushed. My mom just called me and she told me she's not busy anymore, so my dreams are coming true. But here's the progress that we're making on the scrap scarf. I think it's 
it's nice honestly i feel like from a far away it it's much better i kind of like have compiled like a bunch of worsted weight yarns over here i'm trying to pair like solid colors with multi colors i just i want a good mix throughout the entire scarf so so far so good but i gotta take my dogs out and then i'm gonna go eat which is fantastic because i'm starving okay let's go but you have to make sure i look good okay back to work i really want to finish this today and i said i was going to finish it today um I just got unsure for like a moment. It's already three o'clock. We'll see. Let's just, let's get into the zone. Let's zoom through it. I have uh, two more hours left on this live stream VOD. So let's kick it into gear, I guess. It's really hard to I don't know. I have, mm -hmm. I have recency bias. So like True. before, and then before that. Guitar stop. You don't need to apologize. I was the one being stupid. Well, it's tomorrow. My room is um, still a big mess. This is how long our scarf is. Not bad. Honestly, you know? I think I could just spend a little bit more time on it, make it, I don't know, like a foot or two longer and then we can call it good. I spent most of the night last night trying to finish Avatar because I've never watched it, the original Nickelodeon cartoon. And as some of you may know, the live action is out. So I was trying to watch all of the cartoon last night. So that was, it was a lot. But anyway, let's finish up this scarf real quick and let's, you know, let's be done with it. Looking at it on camera, it looks cute. Like the, it's, it, there's a lot of colors going on, you know? It's kind of nice. Okay, the scarf is officially finished. Here's what it looks like. Before we can pack this, the first thing I need to do is clean up my room because I can't function. So, um, what I would really like to do is just shove all of this back into that trash bag, but what I should actually do is probably wind it up. So, I guess we'll wind it up. Okay, this is not everything, but it's a good start. And I'm, I'm gonna be putting them in this tub instead of the trash bag, so. All right, that's better. Now we're going to pack up a few orders and call it a day. Our scrappy scarf for London. We have some mystery scrunchies for Jessica. Last, we sold two gray scrunchies and two ivory scrunchies to gray in California. There we go. Well, everyone, that is the end of the vlog. Today is Friday, so I need to edit this vlog and post it today, and I am so behind schedule. Sorry, but I do hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I guess I'll be seeing you next week. Bye.